Welcome back to Big Boyd. Welcome back. This is just a quick little video, not a not a boxing, not an unboxing uh, or anything like of that nature. Just a quick little thank you to my buddy uh, Todd Reed, uh, aka itinerant hobbyist. He's a YouTuber uh, of wargaming, uh, miniatures and board games. And he has recently invested in the Christopher Sula Sr.'s uh, Grognard Simulations Death Ride series. And he bought a couple of different modules, I guess. And I have been uh, asking questions and popping notes online on Facebook and talking to people and getting impressions because I wanted to understand more about the system. And I've played the Pacific Islands campaign game uh, of, their, of his, of Grognard's. And... Uh, recently just finished the Armored Knights Desna uh, module and played that, which wasn't bad. And, uh, you know, this is kind of the, the big the big one, uh, platoon scale, large, large things, big battles, lots of maps and counters. This is a modest module. It only has eight 11 by 17 maps and about a thousand counters, of which probably two thirds, I would say, are actually combat counters and the rest are gonna be informational and things of that nature, I think. So I get this box in the mail and, uh, you know, this, these are the rules. And look, it's pretty, I've actually had a quick skim of the rules. There's what, 13 sections, 21 pages, 20, 18 pages of rules. And they read very similarly to the Armour Knights series except that it takes it down uh, in the next level of detail. So there are, there's more to do with opportunity fire and overwatch and different types of movement and all the rest of it. There are still over, uh, there are assaults and things of that nature. Whereas in uh, Arbor Knights, there's really only a ranged fire for some units and then uh, assaults and overruns. So I got this box in the mail. I got to get it out and it's a compact little dude as you can see and had this real sweet note in it from from Todd you know enjoy the game it's a loner uh, but hang on to it and uh, I'll send it back to him when he's ready so it's got you know eight or ten counters punched out but looks like they may have fallen out or perhaps uh, Todd played us a, a shorter a smaller scenario or part of a scenario um, so I'm excited to have a look at this and see how all of this will will pan out. I think, in fact, this will be the first scenario that we will look at. There are, I think, six or seven different scenarios. Sorry, four or maybe, I think there's one, maybe there's four. Oh, there's ones on the back as well. Well, what do you know? Oh, the back of it just has more details. Uh, so this one in particular, for instance, has all the information here about the scenario where the forces start. Uh, there you go there and here. Well, there, what, what percentages they start at in terms of completion. So once again, it uh, looks like a relatively math heavy game, you know, because you are taking percentages of units as they are degraded by a series of suppressions. And you get four suppressions and then once you've got that fourth one or you receive the fifth, I think you then are eliminated something of that nature and we'll have a look at it and get stuck into it and probably this little scenario here will be a good little place to start i will try and get all military and we'll put these little dividing lines up and operational scale scoped bits and pieces and see what happens uh, or i might just play and we'll work it out as we go like i usually do all right thought i'd share that with you i'm not gonna do the big unboxing thing if you want to see an unboxing of this game you can go to todd's uh, channel itinerant hobbyist and and check it out there he goes through and looks at everything uh, in quite detail if uh, you if we get into this in some uh, and I get comfortable with the rules I'll try and do some examples of play or 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 play while we are kind of progressing through things and we'll see how things go I may do some live stuff but that might uh, incite uh, all sorts of angry comments from people who know more about the system than I do. All right, all the best, guys.